Hello everyone, welcome to YouTube Studios, and today we're having a look at the ML120 vans from Corsair. This is a 2-pack, and they're just the standard ML120s with no RGB, but I wanted to see how much better they were than my SP120s, which came with my H100i GTX that I got a little while ago. So, here's a little test with the SP120s. It ran really hot on my 3930K while rendering, although 82 degrees is still no, technically reasonable, I would prefer it a little bit lower, and it does get a little bit hotter while under a much higher sustained load than about a, I think this is a 5 minute render. So 82 degrees was the maximum temperature I believe, and although again reasonable, technically speaking, I would prefer to have that a little bit lower. So here are the ML120s going into the case, and I wanted to see how much quieter they were and how much better they performed. Overall the temperatures were much lower, almost 10 degrees I think, and overall I was very impressed with them and noise levels were much better. So here's a sound test with the ML120s versus the SP120s. So yes, overall the ML120s were much quieter, and I'm very impressed, even, uh, like there were two different levels of noise that there were, uh, rather than the SP120s which kind of stayed the same level um, all the way through the render, this kind of went up and down, but even the ML120s under high load were quieter than the SP120s at idle on the quiet mode. Uh, you may have seen earlier I had a custom very quiet mode, which I used with the SP120s a lot, but I didn't during the test, that was all on standard quiet mode, but I had to ramp the temperatures all the way up to even get it slightly um, bearable with noise. So I'm very happy with the ML120s because now I can run them on quiet mode with no worries at all about noise, and right now my PC is right next to the microphone and you can't hear a thing, so I'm very impressed with the ML120s. The SP120s, I'm not sure what I'm going to do with them, uh, I might put them um, in another PC I'm building, but because they're static pressure optimized and not airflow, I'm not exactly sure what to do with them. Um, but overall, yes, I'm very impressed with the ML120s, and I recommend buying them if you can afford that little bit of a price premium over the standard fans, or maybe an upgrade after a while of you having the SP120s on your cooler. Uh, they're a great option for the um, water coolers from Corsair, but otherwise, I'm not sure if they're really worth it if you're just using them as case fans. But definitely on a radiator, they do make a big difference. So thank you everyone for watching. If you did enjoy, there's a Discord server below, as well as you can like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video. So thank you everyone for watching, and goodbye.